how to calculate a center point when you have been given two points. This is not too difficult, but of course you need to understand the principle and therefore I have a picture for you that shows the principle how it works. So we have uh, x-axis, y-axis and can you see it? We have a green vector and a blue vector. So this, this is the green vector, this is the blue vector and the way to do it is always, sometimes I forget about how to do it, but then I remember, oh, because I, I understood it so I can just draw a small picture and then I remember the formula and then I can calculate it and it's very easy and I don't make mistakes. So the thing is, the procedure is you add the blue vector to the green vector, right? And then you end up with this construct construction. So the blue and the green vector are added. Right, you end up with this or with the other one downward. But you end up in this point and when you add both you will receive here I show here, you will receive this big red vector, right, when you add both. And when maybe I should tell you that the goal is like blue vector, green vector, and we want to find this point. And as I said, we just have to add both vectors, then we end up here. And then the rule says, since uh, this is a special geometric construct, and the rule says for this construct where this uh, line is parallel to this line, and this line is parallel to this line, says that the middle point is a half times the, this vector from one edge to the other edge at, at the opposite, right? And that's how you find this center point. So it's not too difficult, you just have to add both vectors, and after you added both, you just take, you, you multiply it with a half, and you end up with a center point. I will also show you an example in the following clip. How to calculate a center point between two points that are given. This is very easy, so I'm going to show you the principle with an example. So we have two points, which are minus 2, 8, 7, and B is 8 minus 4, 1. The task is calculate the center point. But how does it work? This is very easy. I'm, I can show you the principle. So two points, this is A, this is B. This I call, this is like the support vector, I call A. And this is the support vector of the other point I call B. And the, the way it works, I do a, a parallel transformation, so I'm just shifting this vector a to here, uh, almost, and then I'm shifting this vector b to here. And this construction is called a rhombus. And the thing about this rhombus is that the middle point between those two points is uh, one half on also on this distance. So the middle point of this line is also the middle point of this line. And uh, how does it work? What we want to know is this point we want to know. We call it C. And we can calculate it when we add B and A, then we receive this one, and we just multiply it with a half. And when we do this, we end up with a vector, which is this one. So we end up with a support vector of C. And then we have our results. So just keep in mind this picture, and then it's very, very easy. So we just do what I what I said. Uh, maybe I can write it also. You see we added B plus A or A plus B and we took it a half and we end up with C. And this is exactly what we were going to do. So a half times A plus B, a half times then minus 2, 8, 7, plus 8 minus 4, 1 equals a half, uh, maybe 
new line equals a half, six, four, and eight, which is then three, two, four. So as, as you see, it's really easy. I can calculate it very quickly. I just need the time to show you the picture, how the principle works, but actually it's very, very easy. Just add up the support vectors of both points, take it a half, and then you end up with a support vector of the center point. And maybe depends on the notation, but in this case, the points were given like this, so I can also write the solution like this, and I say C is 3, 2, 4, which is center point. Not too difficult, but you should know this picture, or you should understand this picture, that it's based on a rhombus, and you just add A from here to here. Since it's a support vector, uh, since it's a vector vector, usually you can put everywhere in the area, and we just add it here. And then we end up with this uh, straight line. So take this, put it here. Then we end up, the result is this long vector. We take it a half, and then we end up with the support vector of C. This is how it works. Thanks for watching. Practice makes perfect further exercises with solutions you can find on my website, which is www.worksheets.com.